Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Wandering Gypsy Deb. If you're new, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And while you're at it, give this video a like. In today's video, I've got my friend Travel Grandma. I'll put a link to her channel. You've got to check her out. She's got a really cool van with some ever-changing ideas, great ideas. I've actually stole a few of them for my van. And I have her here with some exciting news. So here we are with Travel Grandma. Hi, Deb. It's so good to see you again. So good to see you. <laughs> I love meeting people. It just gives me so much joy. So, I've been traveling on and off part-time for about a year and a half, close to two years. And I've gotten so many comments from people saying, I wish I could do what you do. And my thing has always been, well, if not now, when? When? And then they would write back and they would tell me why. And you know what? I totally understand. A lot of my followers are caregivers. I was a caregiver for my mom for eight years. And she was rather handicapped, um, elderly, obviously. And so I, I have a fondness in my heart. For these people I really I because I understand and then other people would tell me well you know my husband doesn't really want me out there by myself and stuff and so I thought at first I thought well wouldn't it be wonderful to start some little local groups so what I did was last July I gathered 10 people that I know and we met over online and we just had a conversation. What are your needs? Will you start a local group? How does that sound to you? And they all said, that sounds like a great idea. And then I said, what else can we do? And I had a thought that kind of came. I was traveling with my husband. This was all up in Coeur d'Alene. I'm putting this, this whole thought process together. And I thought, you know, what about the women who um, are home? They could obviously join. They don't have to be on the road to be able to go out to lunch, to a local meetup, maybe even a local camping. You know, um, even if they couldn't stay for the day, they can, you know, just at least participate. And at one of my meetups, um, one of the ladies was able to travel, but she didn't have a vehicle. And so the next meetup that we had, it just kind of, you know, when something just snowballs and it just comes all together. Yeah. So I took all of these ideas and I created a website called the snomadsdowntheroad.com. And the idea is to bring the whole community, whether you're full-time, part-time, not on the road at all, a caregiver. What can you bring to the community? And one of the projects that we're doing is a map, a welcoming map where people that have homes and have driveways and curbs that would be legal for us to park in when we travel to visit. You know, it really will be idea. a wonderful service that you could do for the travelers that are you know when you're traveling you don't want to necessarily have to get a campsite every day it's first of all it's very expensive and you don't need that you just need a, a welcoming place to stay you know maybe even just a welcoming um in the summertime like a cup of tea you know come over and have a cup of tea you know charge your jackery you know um can you offer laundry you know you don't even have to offer a place to stay 
Like I live in a condo and I can't necessarily have somebody sleeping in front of our condo. It's not allowed, it's a gated community. But there is a campground 15 minutes from me and it's like $15 a night. And I will certainly welcome you up there. You know, spend the day with me and go up there at night. I also know my neighborhood and I know where you can park. So even though I can't physically have you at my home in the evening, I can certainly direct you on where to go because I know where, where you know, you can park. And uh, so it's just, I just want to build this community for us and see where it goes. And I don't want to build it myself. I want you guys to build it. Let's create what you need. Yeah, and um, I announced it probably two weeks ago. We have already have over 250 people That's who great. join. It's totally free. We would like to totally keep it free. I'm trying to get sponsorships right now to pay, you know, for the hosting and pay, you know, for the technology that I have to purchase because I'm not that techy. <laughs> so, yeah, and I'm excited. I'm really excited. And everybody that I talked to has been excited, too. So tell us about the events and the villages. Okay, yeah. So we do have an events page. So if you have an event coming up, you do not have to be a YouTube creator. You can just be somebody that likes to put on events, you know, or you, you know of an event. We have an events page that you can um, list events on. We also have what we're calling villages. And villages can be, somebody just starts a village like a club. You know, it could be a local um, meetup. And you don't even have to be the one to lead it all the time. Just start it. Just get the ball rolling. And then as women or men and women join, you know, it could be a hiking club. And as they join, then another person might want to uh, start a hike in one area. You know, and then another person might, you don't have to take the whole burden on yourself. You can have like co-hosts or whatever mm -hmm. like that. And then I invite YouTube creators to promote themselves. And it's kind of like, or you don't have to join, um, you don't have to go to this Facebook page to connect with this person and that Facebook page to connect with this person or join this Patreon page to connect with them. It's all like in one location. You can find everybody that wants to participate in one location, like a community. I want it to be a community for you guys. So, yeah. Well, thanks, Travel Grandma. That's some great information and I'm enjoying the site myself. Wonderful. Yeah, it's a great way to connect. And it's all done through private messaging until you yourself want to exchange personal information. So when you're a host and you're on the map, when you click on a host's pin on the map, it brings up their profile. So you can read what do they have to offer. Do you think that that might be a good fit for you? Then you would contact them through a private messaging system through the website they will then see your profile and then they will decide whether they want to contact you back. It sounds very safe. It's very, very safe. You do not put your address. You just put your city, general location in your city. And it, it'll, you'll have a pin on the map. Sounds wonderful. If you're a writer, we encourage you to write articles because here's what sponsors look for. They look for activity. How many people are visiting a website? Oh, okay. That's enough people. I think I could get some traction and that maybe they will do an ad or something on the website. So, okay. yeah. Well, thank you so much for asking. And thank you so much for doing this video and this interview. And I can't wait to go to more events. Awesome. I'm having a great time here in Quartzsite. Awesome. Yeah, it's, it's been a fun meetup. Wish you guys were here. So we'll see you down the road. Thanks so much for watching. And I will put the links to Nomads Down the Road and Travel Grandma's YouTube channel. So you can check her out, subscribe, and check out her really cool videos. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.